struggling there, mate. You gotta get the camera angles. Good morning, everyone. Uh, we're here at the Janicut Airport, and Royal Aero Club is having their fly into White Gum Air Park. Is this what they call it? Yeah, White Gum Air Park. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> and uh, we have this uh, pretty little uh, Super Decathlon ready to go. And yeah, cameras yeah. are rigged up. Pre-flight's done. We've uh, fueled up. Tanks have been checked. We're all good to go. Um, I think we're sort of just going to beat the rush from Rakwa. But uh, yeah, it should be good. It's about a 40 minute, 45 minute flight. Maybe a little, maybe an extra five minutes with the strong easterly that we've got today. But um, it's looking to be magic. It's uh, basically no cloud whatsoever. It should be nice and stable. Yeah, it's going to be a beautiful day to fly. Perfect. I'll, I've never flown this one, so super excited. Let's go. See you in the cockpit. <laughs> That's a cool call sign. Ground, Lightning. Taxi hold short runway zero six left. Uh, Jenica Ground, good morning. Uh, Decathlon Tango Quebec Oscar with Alpha at the Southern Apron request taxi for a shop's departure. Tango Quebec Oscar, ground. Taxi hold short runway zero six left. Taxi hold short runway zero six left. Tango Quebec Oscar, cheers. Tango Quebec Oscar, Romeo, clear touching go. Okay, little brake check. Is this aircraft have a pitot tube? So see the little thing on the left? Oh, yeah. The tiny little silver thing with the um, like a little trap door on it? Yeah. As the airspeed increases it hits that tab and opens up. Oh. So it stops anything crawling in there. Well, everyone watching on the cameras, uh, I haven't had a chance to talk too much because the uh, two ways are being so busy and we're just trying to keep things moving whilst we got a lot of aircraft in front of us and behind us uh, taxiing out and taking off just to keep a bit of a flow. Uh, obviously the, the flying comes first, the cameras come second. So how are you doing back there P? Yeah. Good. So uh, what do you think back of the aircraft back there, nice and comfy? Yeah, this is super comfy. Is it? Like this, but it's just the stick in your legs that's like and I need to be mindful of, I suppose. Yeah, sure. You can't really have anything in your lap. Yeah, I, you can't really see much, eh? Um, I like the little roof window. It's actually a good view. You can't reach the water bottle, can you? No. No, that's okay. I knew that would be the case. You told me to pack it off really nicely, so I, I did it. You almost have like a camelback strapped to you somewhere. Or a little, um, <laughs> yeah. one, of, one of those little, like... Oh, a flat pouch. Yeah, the, the pouches of water. Oh, that's... If I'm taking a run bottle or something. Yeah. Just As a, you can put that in the door. Just something. Lightning 7738, line up. Line up 7738. How come does the lightning not have a call sign? And he still has the last of his tail numbers. But the Lightning is the type of aircraft, so it would be like us saying Cessna, Kilo X-Ray Whiskey. Chandler got Tower Tango Quebec, Oscar's ready for a shop's departure. Tango Quebec Oscar, line up. Line up, Tango Quebec Oscar. So, and uh, strobes are still on. Yeah. Cool. Oh, oh it's me. Rich. Tango Quebec Oscar, traffic is a Lightning also. In the upwind, also departing by Armadale Shops, cleared for takeoff. Traffic in sight, cleared for takeoff, Tango Quebec Oscar, cheers. Here is uh, all way, way faster than us. Alright, you all good back there? All good. Alright. From with Alpha 4A Armadale departure. Here we go. Whoa, get the tail up. Speed 
Charlie's uh, step here is 3,500, so we'll climb up to uh, just below that, and we'll now track towards Canning Dam is our next uh, sort of VFR outward point. So Canning Dam just down below us. Why are there stripes on the window here? Uh, that is a great question, Pro. Uh, I'm theory. gonna take a punt that it's got something to do with aerobatics being 45 degrees to line that up with the horizon. So if you put that level with the horizon, you'd be at 45 degrees. That's what the thing on the left, the spider web, that's what that's for. I understand that one, but the window was like a little bit yeah, obscure. I'd imagine that it was a different form of something like that. That would be my guess. So if you were to fly from here, how would you know your level? <laughs> you can't. Can you see that? Uh, sort of, kind of, not really. Yeah, Mike, I'm traffic, Bravo Fox Squad Victor, uh, Chester 152 is one zero miles to the west, inbound on descent to 2500, passing uh, 3200, and I have the decap one in sight. You have control, if you want, traffic, uh, lightning 7738, second area, white gun this time, joining uh, crosswind from a 09, white gun. And Whitecomb Farm, Tango Quebec Oscar is overhead the field, 2000 with two preceding traffic in sight, uh, joining midfield crosswind. Whitecomb traffic. Whitecomb traffic, Tango Quebec Oscar turning final, runway 09 full stop, Whitecomb traffic. Bravo Fox, Victor is turning base, full stop, uh, runway 09, Whitecomb traffic. White gun traffic, Foxtrot Kilo 97 is clear, runway 090, white gun. Clear of the active. Welcome, Bob. Wake up, Sam. This is Tango Lima. It's about to join the crosswind for 09. Wake up. Well, that was fun. Uh, that's not the word I would describe. I would describe it as stressful. Oh, it was fun. <laughs> that's the reason why you're the pilot. Taxing uphill like I, I proper can't see. Like, like a real tailwheel. <laughs> All your mates are waiting. <laughs> oh, no. oh, is his name? Steve. Was it? Yeah. I need a bigger parking lot. Welcome. Uh -huh. Traffic, uh, Victor Tangalina, turning final. Zero nine. Welcome.
That was so awesome. <laughs> yeah. So here at the Kimberley Grill at the White Gum Air Park, you see a beautiful uh, beer garden outside with the big lake out there. Uh, barbecue set up for uh, beer and drinks at night if, uh, if you're not flying. A nice big bar, a restaurant in here, which they do, they do burgers, fish and chips, chicken parmies, seafood. Um, from what we hear, it all looks like it's really good food. So uh, looking forward to get, being able to actually fly somewhere and get a feed before uh, flying back off, which is sometimes a little bit of a struggle in Australia. So uh, I'll leave you with it. What you doing there, mate? Checking the weather for the flight. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've had a lovely time here at um, Whitecomb Air Park. We've been uh, fed and watered, and um, as you can see, a couple aircraft are already leaving. So we're just gonna pack up and uh, head back Perthway. <laughs>